Okay, welcome back. This is part 29 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. Uh, in the last video, we began our edit profile page. Uh, now, something I want to point out, I went ahead and I FTP'd up the, stat the new status page, um, and I realized there was an error. On the edit profile page, I typed in, um, I forgot to put in the other uh, single quotation mark to end the href uh, attribute, so I fixed that, and now it's displaying. But if I click on it, I haven't FTP'd up the um, the edit profile page itself, so it's still going to give us an error um, if I try to click on that. So, um, we have our if statement here that we copied from our register page, and what we're going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the password um, from there and the username. So right now, the only things that are required are first name, last name, and email, because those are the only things that are required in the database. Uh, and ironically, we don't display those on the profile page itself. Anyway, um, so how we're gonna uh, this this echo statement here is going to say um, you did not provide the required info, and then ah, uh, there we go, and then our uh, info form. Okay, so uh, after we've gotten the first name and after we've gotten all of our information and made sure that first name, last name, and email are provided, um, what we need to do is we need to make sure we have a valid email. Now, if you want, you could also copy the email string uh, to make sure we have a valid email. Um, so you can go ahead and just copy that and paste it in. So I'm just going to do that and put in else echo uh, you did not dang not provide a valid email and then the info form okay so now that we've checked to make sure we have a valid email um, for the most part that's really all we need um, so, like you can see here, we right now on the register page, we'd connect and make sure the username's not taken and whatnot. I suppose if you wanted, you could put in a check to make sure that the email is not taken um, if you wanted, uh, which I think I actually did that here. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to connect to the database, or actually before we do that, um, for now, uh, I'm going to make it so we're getting all of the information from the database and we're displaying it in the um, in the form itself so we're going to require and we're going to get our connect file which is in the, which is in the scripts folder and then connect.php and then we're going to get our query equals mysql underscore query and we're going to say select all from users I believe it is it's users or members I think it's users uh, so we're going to select all from users where ID equals and this is going to be our user ID variable that uh, we're getting with our session in our top page um, so yeah so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to run the num rows um, now you don't necessarily need this uh, but I'm going to put it in anyway just for a little bit of extra security for some, for whatever reason, the uh, the ID isn't set. I guess um, I'm gonna make sure that it is set, or else it's just gonna give an error. Um, so this if statement's gonna say uh, numrows equals equals one, and then after that we're just gonna put an else, and that was weird. Um, and we're gonna put in an else, and the else is gonna be an echo saying. Um, um, uh, an error occurred while connecting to the database. Uh, so an error occurred while connecting to the database. So inside this if statement, we want to use the uh, fetch associative array. So MySQL underscore fetch underscore a sock a double s o c, and then our query inside of that. Um, now what we want to do is we want to get all of our information from our database 
uh, that would be uh, that we would dis then display on the form itself. So I am going to open the file that we're the uh, profile page profile file, and since we've already gotten all of that right there, uh, I'm just going to copy it and I can close that now. Close the register page as well and paste all of that in. That's just to save some time. And also, you want to uncomment that out. We can go ahead and get rid of the user since we're not displaying that. And, uh, yeah. So, you notice that we still have the NL2BR um, new lines break uh, for the bio because that's how we're going to have it. So, right there, that just gets all the information from the database. And now what we want to do is, in our form itself, we want to set values for all of our boxes and whatnot. So, let's see, right there, there it is. Right after the size, I'm just going to put in value equals, and so over here now, I'm going to say dollar sign, first name. So we're setting the first name box, we're setting the value equal to uh, the first name we're getting from the database. And obviously that has to be required to some extent. Um, then we're going to get the last name value for the last name box and so on and so forth. So we're going to do it for all of the boxes. Now the avatar, we don't need to get, uh, we don't display anything. I suppose if you wanted, you could display a small avatar next to it, um, which actually, I might do that later. I haven't decided. Um, then we want the website. And then YouTube. Okay, so now we're at the, the bio area, um, and for the bio area, how, how a text area is, you don't set a value attribute like you would do in um, a normal text box, an input type of text, uh, but for a text area, you put the value that you want it to be right before the end text area tag. So right here, we would put bio. So that will get all of our information and um, display it in the form. So now what we can do is, since we've already checked to make sure we have a valid email, essentially now what we need to do is just uh, insert all of the information into the um, database. So to do that, we're just going to run a bunch of queries, essentially. Uh, so in MySQL query, uh, this first one is going to be insert into, and this is users, and we're going to set... Um, now, for each different uh, item, like the first name, last name, email, website, all that, we're setting a different um, um, name. So the first name is first name, obviously. I think that's the just, uh, first name. Uh, I think that's how it is in my database. It might be first underscore name, something like that, um, but I don't remember. Uh, so we're going to set the first name to the first name variable. And then after that, we want to say where ID, and I'm down here now, um, so where ID equals, and this is going to be our user ID. So that right there, that updates the database, and that updates the um, <coughs> uh, first name. So set first name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that a bunch of times, and we have first name, last name, email, website, YouTube, and bio, and then uh, the avatar we'll get to later. So we're going to set the last name. So we want to set, oh no, we want to set last name to last name. And the query, the other, the other parts of the query themselves are, for the most part, the exact same. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to type in all of the correct information um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I filled in the entire, all the queries and I checked my database and it is first underscore name and last underscore name. Uh, those are the names of the fields in the database table, so they have to be correct or else you're going to have problems. Um, so now I'm just going to put in an echo saying your information has been saved. 
Uh, so it was just something simple. Now, um, I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we are going to do the uh, avatar part. So check out the next video.